Playing Hobo Tough Life can be quite a lonely journey. Of course you have Maisner and the other hobos whom you can talk to, but they don't really keep you company while you're exploring the dark and cold streets of Praslav. And who better to keep you company than your very own four-legged friend? Hiya pals, it's your Uncle Tony here, and today I will be showing you how you can get your very own dog in Hobo Tough Life. So let's get right into it. After you wake up in the pit and become buddies with Maisner, he'll send you to talk to Drax over at the prisoner camp. Now Drax has a dog himself, look at the cute fella. Ask Drax about the dog and he'll send you over to Langos over at the gypsy camp. Langos says he can get you a dog for 300 crowns? Are you kidding? 300 cash up front with no guarantee? I don't like that. Well too bad, that's what he wants but no worries. You can just do one of Langos' jobs where you steal some scrap metal from a deposit. Just make sure that this guy doesn't catch you. Anyway, just sell that metal at that cutler guy by the gas station and you'll have 120 crowns already. Go to the back side of the hotel and speak to the chef. He'll ask you to do some chores, get potatoes and whatnot, but BAM! 200 crowns for just that. Oh, you can find the hotel right here if you didn't know that yet. Moving on, go back to Langos and give the guy your hard earned 300 crowns. He'll tell you to come back later, which will be the next day. So just do some quests or dive in some dumpsters until that next day. So when the sun rises, go back into Langos' house, talk to him and you'll find out that the bastard wants another 300 crowns. And you'll only have 3 days, otherwise he's gonna eat the pup? What? Duh. So you can just do more of the scrap metal jobs he has and you should have that extra 300 crowns in no time. But also just make sure that this guy doesn't catch you either, okay? Go back to Langos with the cash and he will finally give you your new puppy. He'll be right there in your inventory and when you select him, he'll fit really nicely into this slot right here. Go back to the overworld and there he is. Oh, look at him, the good pupper. If you want to interact with him, just like with other characters, you'll need the time uh, currency. Hmm? And instead of trust, you'll have to bond with your new pup. Interacting with your pup has some benefits to it, like upping your temperature, your morale, confidence or willpower. You'll need to feed your dog as well, which in turn can give you more of that time currency, so you can interact more. You can feed him dog food, scrap food deluxe or basic rolls. Bonding with your dog is really adorable, let him bark jump or play fetch. That's all that I can tell you. Get yourself a four-legged pal and enjoy your playthrough together. And as always, if you like this video, please give it a like, consider subscribing if you're new, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.